What is up, y'all? It is your boy, ABK, and thank you for entering back into the nigger room. I really do appreciate each and every one of y'all. And so today, you know, not everyone's going to like what you, ha what you have to say. Or not everyone's gonna like what you do. There are people that aren't even gonna comprehend or understand your way of thinking, acting, and or talking, you know? And unfortunately they're gonna hate you for that. Like there like there are people who literally will not like you for no reason. Or there are people who will not like you for the way how you talk. There are people who are gonna man, hey. There are going to be people who, who don't like you just because they don't like you. But guess what? That's perfectly fine. That is perfectly fine. You can't make people think a certain way about you. Or you can't make people like... You can't make them like you, period. You can't force somebody to feel a certain way about you. They have to come about that based off of their own deductions. Or based off of their own experience of you. The real goal is to stay true, to stay true to yourself, and those who like you, you fuck with them. But then there are those who you don't, who don't like you. Man, tell them to fuck off. <laughs> fuck out of here, bitch ass nigga. Like I'm the type of guy that can get along with almost anybody, but there are definitely people who I can't fuss with, and just based off of their energy that they give off, yes, that is some real shit. I can't fuck with them. You aren't bound to like everybody. There are some people that you aren't going to fuck with. Even when they have good things to say, you find a way to be like, mm, whatever, I ain't, I ain't feeling the message. Or you ain't feeling the messenger or whatever, you know? That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Like, for instance, back when I was like 20, 21, there was this guy. There's this guy that I always see at the gym, and you could tell just based off of the guy's persona, just the way how he acts, just the way that he, like, talks around me or anything like that, you could tell that he doesn't fuck with me. And I always see him at the gym, too. And I never even talked to the dude once in my life. Like, he doesn't fuck with me. I'm like, bro, I haven't talked, I've never talked to you. You don't know me. I don't know you. Why, why don't you like me? But there are just, there are just some people who won't fuck with you. There literally are just people who won't fuck you through just for fuck's sakes. Like just the other day, there was this one dude that I saw at like a little get together, and just based off of his energy, I didn't like him. Like I didn't, I don't even know the dude, but based off of the energy and the way how he acted around other people, I I didn't fuck with them. But that's. To each his own. Like, I'm not going to discredit him for being a person or anything like that. It's just that if I were to have to talk one-on-one -on -one with that person, I'd rather not, you know? Like, and that's perfectly fine. Like, I'm not talking about no hater shit. I'm like, do you, player? More power to you. Do whatever you want to do. But the way how he acted... He a bozo, but that's that's my opinion. You know, like I like I always say, everyone's entitled to their opinion. And you know I me, mean? I keep it a hundred. Like if someone asks me for my opinion about someone, I'm gonna tell him straight up, like, yo, he might be a cool guy, but I don't fuck with him. Simple as that. I keep a, I always keep it one hundred, bro. When you start doing things your own way, and not giving a single fuck about what anyone has to say about it, that's when you start to actually enjoy the process. Because I, I personally feel like when people are constantly critiquing you about something, like and that 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 takes that takes the fun away of the process, you know. And you get you get certain levels of critique at certain levels of certain levels of the process. The process doesn't doesn't just stop when you get to where you want to be at. You have to the process is also part of staying there. <laughs> like I always say, you gotta just trust the process. 
And shout out to Joel Embiid and Ace Hood for putting that shit into perspective for me, bro. Because honestly speaking, I never used to think that way. But people's never people people's opinions never nah, <clears throat> people's opinions never put food on your table. Your hard work does. You may have supporters' opinions, which is all good and lovely. And shout out to all my supporters out there. I appreciate y'all. Y'all know I do. But at the end of the day, it's your hard work that is gonna be what puts food on your table. Don't even take your heart. Don't take your hard work for granted, because honestly, that sometimes does happen. You may, you may discredit all the work that you're putting in, and you might be like, "Damn, I ain't the shit." But don't ever discredit your hard work because you're the one that decided to put the work in, which most people don't. You decided that you were gonna take a chance on yourself, which most people don't. You're the one that said you're gonna do this, and you're fighting towards that shit. And even if it may take you a while to get there, you get there eventually. Most people don't. As long as you stay worried about you and not people's opinions, whether positive or negative, you can go further than you you'll go further than you've ever than more than you've ever imagined. It's easier said than done. No no yeah, it is easier said than done. But Aren't the things that are aren't the things that are harder to get more worthwhile? Aren't the things that you struggle to get to more worthwhile when you get them? That's on one of my other podcasts. You should go check that out. <laughs> but on some real though, man. On some real ass shit. Hmm. Not everyone's gonna like you. But as long as you stay focused on yourself, the ones who do support you, then the haters, they go suck a dick. Like, I know I got haters, as many as there may be out there. I know I got them. But we ain't never worried about y'all. And no cap, I think that's something that Kobe and Westbrook taught me. No cap. Because those those are my like my two favorite players of all time. Like no one could tell me otherwise. About them two niggas being the greatest at their positions. <laughs> but Man, clearing out the noise, clearing out the noise is such a crucial, a crucial aspect when it comes to the process. Don't worry about what other people have to say about you. Like I said, whether positive or negative, all their opinions. At the end of the day, like I said, they aren't they aren't gonna feed you. They aren't gonna put food on your table, and they're not gonna fill that void in your hole, that void in your soul. You know. So, like I said, you just gotta work, like, you gotta be able to work on you and worry about yourself. Get you a good soulmate, you know. Have a good, have a good support system. And get to go. But anyways, y'all, that's all I had to say. It is 1.02 p.m. And it is Monday, February 18th, 2019. This is your boy, ABK. And thank you for entering into the nigga room. I really do appreciate y'all. And we out this bitch. Deuce, deuce.